Hello friends. Uh, so here uh, we go with the number 45 where a cone of 50 mm base diameter and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its generator. Okay, so important is a generator. So draw its projection when the axis is inclined. So it's a locus line problem at a 30 degree. Okay, so here we have a cone of 50 mm. So rests on HP. This is the first one. Okay, second, it is resting on the generator. Okay, so generator is nothing but a slant edge in a pyramid. Okay, so next, the axis is inclined at 30 degree to the VP. Okay, so, so just uh, start with that one. So, we will go with the reference line. Okay, so X and Y. So we we say VP and HP, okay. So now press on HP. So below the XY line. So 50 mm diameter. So take a radius of 25 mm, okay. So well below the XY line, taking any reference point. Just drop a circle, okay. So you make that dark. So this is the center point. So just drop one horizontal and one vertical diameter. Okay. So now just to divide that one to the eight parts. So we'll take a 45 degree from here and 135 degree from this side. And we'll just drop. The line passing through the center till the circumference okay so this is what exactly we do so make this circle darker so we'll write the naming from here so it's a a so this is a b the c the d e f g and H. So now for this one with the pi 50. Okay. So now to take the projections. So one, two. Three, four, and a five. Okay, so this is a dash. So this is H is visible. So H dash in the bracket B dash. So here G is visible. So G dash in the C dash. And here we will have O in the bracket O1. So here O1 dash. So here we will be having F dash in the bracket D dash. And this is a E dash. Okay. So it's a 60 mm. So from the center line. Okay. Take a 60 mm. It's axis line. So just go with the axis line marking. And just connect the boundaries. It looks like an a triangle. Like this. Okay. So if you want you can uh, join this one with the thin line. If you don't want you can just uh, leave like that. Okay. That is only to have a reference for the second position. Okay. So this is our. 60 okay so once this one is done so it is resting on the generator so generator is nothing but this one o dash and a dash so now it's so simple like a, take any one reference point here okay so take a a to the o a to the o okay so just cut one arc okay now from Oh, sorry, not here. 
we just uh, take this O2A, cut it on the X Y line. It is resting on the HP. So this is our A dash, and this is a O dash. Okay. So now join that one with the dark line. Like this. Okay. So now just to repeat, so we'll take the length from O to A to E. So A to E and O to A, it will remain same. Just copy. So this is our E dash. Okay. So once it is done. Just take a each point reference. It will remain same from both ends. You just cut one half from here and one half from here. Okay, and take the midpoint. Okay, so this is H dash B dash. So this is G dash in the bracket C dash in the bracket O one dash. So here it's a F dash in the bracket D dash, and this is a E dash. Just join the axis line. Okay, so once this one is done, so we are viewing from here. Just take a rightmost and first bottommost. Okay, take all the horizontal lines. So now from here, so E will be coming on the midline. So this is our E. So this is our O. And from here, it's a F and D. So just check it out. F and D will come on F and D. So this is our F. This is our D. And this this one there are three points. Just drop it till here. So this is C, this is G, this is O one. Okay. Next it's a B and H. So here it's a B and here it's a H. The last one is a A. So this is a A. Okay. So when you see from here, say for example from here, so you can see whole circle. Okay. So you can see the old circle so circle should be darkened like this okay and you can see O to E line so anyhow so it's a just a imaginary line you need not worry the boundary will be O to C like a tangent don't join that one to the end point just place it like this on the curve okay so wherever it comes like a tangent just uh, drop it okay so this is how exactly so now here o to o1 in the first position it's a 60 in the second position you have to measure o to o1 how much it is okay so it is coming around 55 okay so it around 55 so we will write just like that okay so now so we have first axis length is a, a 60 and the second axis length it's a 55 okay so now uh, we need to take uh, the axis inclination at a 30 degree okay so you need to check to take a new reference point here okay so now we need to drop a line. Okay, anyway, we'll take it here. Take a 30 degree. Just drop a line. Okay, so this is a 30 degree. Okay, so now take first one that is a 60. Some reference point. 
so this is our O. Now drop on horizontal line. Okay. So now take the second length O to O1 from the same reference point. Cut on the horizontal line. So now this is our O1. Okay, now take a line from this point through the O. Just drop a line. Okay, so now measure the angle. It's around 33. Okay, we just write it here. It's a 33 degree. Okay, so now we got this one. So now we have to repeat the whole thing. Okay, so for this one, you can just drop a vertical line here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines. Okay, so now first we'll drop one vertical line here. Okay, so this is a 50 anyhow. It's a 25 and 25. Okay, see this one. In this one what we are talking. Okay, till here it's a 50. It is midpoint 25. So we'll take this end and this end. So just make sure that it will connect to one horizontal line. Just drop a thin line. Okay, so now you measure first line. That is from ear to ear. It's around... 19 okay 19 this side and 19 uh, that side okay means uh, on the same okay just take a 19 here and 19 this side okay so this is done so we got one two three four five so now you just uh, drop just draw a little parallel lines through each point okay so now we got these things means uh, we got four and five so now from O okay take a A okay so from O one you just cut one line this side and one point this side okay so just extend this line okay so now we have this point from here you take a B okay so from here it's a B and it's a D okay so same thing here from this point one arc this side and one arc this side so now we got so this is e so we have just rotated like this so this is d this is b d and this is c this is b this is a and so this is our h so g and f okay so now this is any visible so we can just draw a dark line passing through each point just uh, complete like this right so now connect a point from O and a tangent at a G this is the easy one okay so just to have a uh, just a re one revision okay just you can see here so what we did we have taken O and O1 O and O1 okay then we just extended this line OA so just extended this line okay and we have taken these five parallel lines this one two three four and five already we have one here we need to take two each side okay so just we measured from year to year year to year year to year because it's a symmetrical one it, re it will remain same we just drop a five lines okay so one extreme at the 25 and one at the midpoint is a 19 okay just drop a parallel lines okay and on this midpoint that is cg line you just take a each measurement each measurement and just drop it on that one you will get easily okay so one this one is done uh, the last position is taking a projection okay one extreme top and from one extreme 
h okay so we have taken one extreme top and one extreme right so now we'll drop all the horizontal lines okay so just to make sure that So now this x y line will just extend okay so we have taken a h so h is here so this is our h dash okay so g will take a next so g is on the center line so g is here so we'll say this is g dash and we'll take a next f so we'll take a f till here so this is our f dash so then we'll take a e so e is at the extreme one so this is our e dash so next we'll take a d so d is to the next one okay so d dash so go with the uh, same symmetry okay so then it will be easy to trace the points so c is here so c dash so b is here so this is our b dash so a is on the x y line so a is on the x y line so you need to write the naming there itself so o is on the x y line so o dash is on the x y line so o1 o1 is on the center line so here we have o1 dash okay so like that so go with the a b c d so now when you see from here okay the whole base is visible so you can just trace from a uh, h g E F E D C B and A like this. Okay. So now just not any point, you just uh, from the O, you just keep your scale anywhere it comes like a tangent, you just uh, drop a line. Okay. Here also, just drop a line. So this is how exactly it is visible. And the last we left with the axis line. Just straight from O to O1. Okay, so this is how exactly it is visible. So make this circle dark. Okay, so this circle should be dark. So here it uh, appears front view and resting on the generator like a slant edge in the pyramid. So this is how exactly it is visible in the top view. So here we have taken it's a locus line, axis is inclined and this is how exactly we can project it upward okay so this is the one tricky one okay where you can reproduce from here to here so drawing all the parallel lines right thank you